I'm Mr. Chris and I do stuff. And this is an airplane, kind of. It's also kind of a helicopter and it's also being charged by a Tesla. Now we'll get a little bit more into the charging here in a second, but first, this is a black fly. So this is the first kind of beta version of it. The new one is called the Helix. It should be out later this year. Um, this particular one is actually owned by the gentleman with the hat on the right, Tim. And uh, you can see it's done in raw carbon fiber. He didn't wrap his, and that's definitely the way I would go with mine. I said it's kind of like a hypercar. He said think a little bit more like a boat. Now here's what else I know. It's got triple redundant flight controllers. It's got two joysticks. You can either use which one you want to fly with, or if one fails, you can use the other one. Like a drone, auto lands and auto takes off. So that's kind of interesting. When you take off, what's kind of fun is the front goes very up and you're basically staring at the sky. So you look at the screen to look out the camera at the back when you're trying to land or do anything. We have eight props, eight motors, eight battery packs, and we can have two fail and stay in the air. Preferably one on the front and one on the back wing. Now when they're going forward, they actually use the wings for all the lift and that's how they get such a good flight time out of making something so light. It's an ultralight, so you don't need a license to fly it. It's under 350 pounds. It's got a freaking ballistic parachute hiding underneath that circle. So even if stuff goes really wrong, you just pull that, shoots out your parachute and you're good to go. And like I said, yeah, this is the Black Fly, the production ones are supposed to be coming in December. So I have a, uh, what? Most of a year to make $190,000 so I can throw one of these in my driveway. Hey, I hate to be that guy, but I gotta promote my uh, app in the app store. It makes QR codes like the one I'm coming to you from inside of right now. Go ahead and make your own QR code. That way you got a way to promote your podcast, Facebook, Twitch, smart chat, whatever it is you've got, business. Um, go ahead and download the app, Android and iPhone, or uh, go to qrlife.me and you can click on the links, um, or you can scan this. And that'll take you straight to QRLife.me. Thanks for checking it out. Now let's go see those bad boys fly. All right, as promised, let's see him fly. We just got to roll him out there real quick. We're going to do a pre-flight chat. His Tom Cruise moment, pulling that cockpit back. Check out the wind, make sure things are good. I picture when you do that, they make that DJ sound. Now look at that. They go straight into that kind of helicopter mode or they call it hover mode and then you can see they start to level out and go into plane mode or cruise mode but you can hear that as soon as they level out they're almost silent I mean they're not crazy like normal drones that are super loud and obnoxious I mean you can hear the wind over those things right now and they're not that far away now let's check them out from a different angle I love how they come up here and they look like capital I's. And here you can see they're really that vertical. You can see them starting to kind of smooth out. Now this one you can see a lot clearer. Right there he just pitched over and now he's off in cruise mode. Ready to go ahead for downtown Tampa. Oh, flying these things over the bay has got to be amazing. I took the simulator over the bay, but... Here we are, we're coming in for landing. Alright, you can see how he's in hover mode now coming down to the ground and he's going to lay it over. Now again, these do automatic landing. Now here it is from a different angle. We can see him coming in in formation. Now look at that thing. Doesn't that thing look amazing? You can see him going into that helicopter or hover mode. But you can actually just use yaw and twist it around and spin on a dime. Doesn't that look like a fuselage or like a World War II air, like fighter plane? I mean, it's got the cockpit and everything. And that's it. Now he's on the ground and ready to go. Let's take a look at this. We're getting ready to pitch that front all the way up. He wants his head actually tilt forward as he does it. And now it's just going to come down and gently land. Now right now, you're actually looking at that backup camera to make sure that where you're landing is all good. And it sets down, and we have had a great flight. Now what's amazing about these particular machines is that they're electric. So right now they're gonna pop them on the chargers and uh, get them ready for another flight in anywhere from 40 to 75 minutes. 
Now, this is the dream setup. He's got the Tesla. You can see there it's got 240 volt coming out of there. So you can fully charge this plane. I think he's had like 10 to 20 times per battery charge. Now, if you're not cool and don't have a Tesla, they're using a generator here to charge up some anchor batteries. And then they're using those batteries to charge up the planes. Uh, it's kind of funny. You can see there, those are the rapid chargers hooked up to them. Uh, you can see the little blinky lights as they're getting those things all charged up and ready to go for their next flight. So the big pitch on these is actually not how much they cost, but the cost to operate them. They break down into a 16-foot closed-in trailer, so no hangar, no fuel, no motor to maintain, just the batteries. Uh, and again, those are serviceable parts. So, I mean, just an amazing, amazing aircraft. I really want to thank the Pivotal crew for uh, letting me fly the simulator, even though I did uh, manage to crash it downtown Tampa and fall off a building when I was trying to land on a roof. Uh, but uh, it was a great time. Of course, that's the beautiful one right there. I would definitely go all carbon fiber. Love the fact that it's got the ballistic parachute for safety, so even if things go wrong, you can land. I mean, just the fact that I think they said it's like 30 to 40 cents to operate one of these. And then Tim, the owner who owns this particular one, uh, who loves P-51 Mustangs, if you can't guess, uh, he's got about 900 flights logged in that thing. If you want more information, please go visit Pivotal's website or reach out to them and find out some more or throw it into TikTok and YouTube and you can find some other angles of them actually flying around downtown Tampa. If you found this video interesting, go ahead and hit the notification bell, like, subscribe, do all the things. Uh, let me know that I should be out here doing this. Um, also, leave some comments below. Let me know what you think about uh, flying in drone cars. Should the FAA lighten up so that we can make this a reality? Maybe add a little more weight, get a little more range. I don't know. I think I like this. I'd really like to get one of these.